More reaction now to the State of the Nation address. And this time we'll take a focus on business. Uh, we have a struggling economy, economy that uh, is struggling to achieve growth and to uh, actually just uh, uh, recover to pre-COVID-19 um, uh, levels of GDP growth. Uh, and now prior to last night, Sona Business Industry had called for the president uh, uh, to put an emphasis on measures to revive economic activity by investing in critical infrastructure uh now let's uh, get uh, some reaction we have on the line there group chief advisor at indeed so consulting Mielani oleni is on the line good morning to you and thank you so much for joining us good morning tt and good morning to the listeners in as far then as uh, the State of the Nation address went to addressing the concerns and uh, um, of business, I just mentioned there that uh, you know calls for more investment in infrastructure. The president uh, did uh, touch on that uh, uh, in his uh, speech yesterday, saying that the bill program is gaining pace. What more did you hear that uh, you think uh, will actually set us on to the growth path that we desire? What, 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 what is currently holding the South African economy from growing at the pace or gathering the pace that it should gather is obviously the big elephant in the room, which is mm. load shedding. Uh, load shedding has taken so much away from the momentum that uh, even small businesses and all the way up to the retail businesses and the large businesses. Uh, recently, we had the mining in Dava as well. We heard the same swan song from the miners uh, complaining about the fact that uh, power is a big constraint to the growth that uh, would otherwise have been achieved. And in simple terms, from a mining point of view, there's $27 billion which uh, would have accrued to the coffers of uh, the fiscals. So you can just imagine in terms of, you know, across the board, because load shedding uh, knows no boundaries. It touches each and every one. It touches the households. So we, we at least heard some of the issues of uh, the PV, the generation of uh, mm-hmm. uh, 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 energy through the, the, the solar PVs. We also heard about the incentives that are going to follow. We also heard about uh, the uh, guarantee fund which uh, the uh, the government is putting forward. And, of course, uh, the proof is in the pudding. Absolutely. Uh, the president, again, of course, uh, these investment drives that uh, he has been pushing for the last number of years, he spoke about uh, the $1.2 trillion, uh, which the, uh, uh, the campaign had to raise a $1.2 trillion in investment uh, over five years. Uh, that was five years ago. Uh, what progress are you seeing in that uh, in terms of uh, foreign direct investment that the president uh, has been seeking to, uh, to, to lure to the country? I think on the balance of investments, especially with uh, investors coming from outside, we really have seen uh, patches of uh, investment. Uh, perhaps, you know, it's the fact that there needs to be greater preparation or there must be time spent on preparing uh, some of these projects so that they can be implemented. It takes about 18 to 36 months at times to gear up the uh, factories. But we also have positive stories on the ground where perhaps you know, some of the factories have been, uh, now have been commissioned and are mm-hmm. working. So, so really the uh, one trillion uh, investment is not something that uh, will uh, be realized or the impact thereof within the five years. Perhaps if... Uh, uh, what we heard as well, the president talking about, you know, a lot of numbers of uh, the successes and so on. Perhaps those numbers are accruing, and we, mm. we hope that those numbers are accrue, and on the ground those numbers are a reality so that uh, it can at least uh, become a, a, a creation of jobs because we're ailing mm. from uh, uh, jobs uh, uh, that are not uh, being created. Mm. We're ailing as well from having to slash the economic uh, growth. Mm. We're ailing as well from uh, even uh, investors shying away. Capital is actually shying away into other emerging markets. Right. So, so and, those are the big issues yeah. that uh, would, the government would need to change. And a word, if you will, on the ease of doing business. I mean, uh, the president tasked Mr. Siponko as he with, uh, uh, in his, uh, you know, given the responsibility there of uh, reducing, put a team to reduce red tape. How is that happen? How is that uh, progressing in your views? Uh, it, are we seeing any evidence uh, of that, uh, you know, work being done to ease uh, doing business, particularly for small businesses? I think that covers, you know, the legislation that has progressively been implemented within the country. 
if you take someone who is a cons- in, into construction, they w- would have to have a number of uh, uh, compliance measures uh, uh, in place. Uh, CIDB, you would have to have to be in the CS Central Supply Database. You would have to have an NHPRC certificate. You would have to have you know a whole lot of documents that are required, especially for someone who is perhaps a startup or even mm. someone who is a small business and have been operating. So we, we don't see how uh, the easing or the cutting of red tape in this case is going to uh, uh, at least help the smaller business. The big businesses are able to pay their way through mm. uh, getting whatever needs to be done or getting the consultants to sort out whatever would have to help them qualify or get you know more triple BE uh, 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 ratings or improve it. But it's also the international side as well, the attraction of it. The president spoke about the e-visa regime. This is something which when we travel to other countries, uh, it's a a big inhibitor for other business people from other countries because they have to comply with uh, the visa regime and they have to go through hoops. Uh, So it is actually both domestically as well as uh, the uh, uh, inflow mm. or international business people who are also struggling. So that is something which would need greater attention that, uh, right. that than just looking at mm. cutting the mm. uh, the smaller things, but to look at overhauling the entire regime because you are going into the core okay. of legislation which uh, prevents uh, the uh, businesses from running uh, smoothly. Great stuff. Thank you so much uh, for that. Uh, um, Milana Holeni is the group, exec, uh, group chief advisor at Ntiso Consulting. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you very much, Titi.